for the Cottonmouth King Show, and you're watching Not MTV. We're the Cottonmouth Kings, and we don't give a fuck. We're the Cottonmouth Kings, and we don't give a fuck. Bring it on, LA! What's up? This is Dad Ash from the Cottonmouth Kings, and we are definitely not on MTV here, folks. Welcome to Not MTV. Tonight, we are in Hollywood, California at the Sold Out Key Club for the record release party of the Cottonmouth Kings. That's right, bitch. The world just keeps on spinning. Spinning. Fast up, please slow down. Slow down. It's asses and elbows in there. Yeah, asses and elbows, I'd like to say probably over capacity, but uh, you guys have a habit of doing that here. This is Cotton Mouth King record release party. Stoners, we can have it. Dilo. Does this album uh, follow suit of rip hop? Well, yeah, there's some rip hop. The rip hop is is the uh, that, uh, that's we call ourselves the rip hop originators because it's uh, I think we're the first ones to really combine punk rock, old school hardcore punk rock, and hip hop like in a one song. Sure. That's what we call it, rip hop. And there's like there's like three three rip hop songs on this record, and then a couple straight punk songs, and then a lot of hip hop songs, some mellow acoustic stuff. How was this album written, the 22 tunes? Is it something that you guys each burned a couple of songs and then worked it out, or totally worked it out together? You know, every a lot we have a lot of different styles of songs. Some songs we went in with like there's some punk stuff on there. We went in with the live band. Um, pretty much everyone brings brings ideas to the table, and everyone writes their own stuff. We all write together, and we just kind of went in and started throwing ideas against the wall, you know? We probably recorded about 45 tracks and 22 made it. All right, everybody in the fucking pit! Let's get this fucking place moving, Apache! Go! Nowadays in the digital age, once you put something out, a record out, a video, it's gonna be passed around the internet. That's just the bottom line. So yeah, so we, that's part of it. We, we wanted that to happen, right? Because MTV's not showing up, but maybe what's this? Else. Not, Not MTV. MTV. If you like to get wasted in your feel the face, say hell yeah. yeah. And all lays on the set, your pussy's real wet, say ow. You know the tea trouble this voice keeps so bad. You can catch me in the club with the finest bitch. Nice rack, big tits. Y'all know the deal. And my sidekick, show the blade. Let me brush my shoulders brush off a little bit. bit. And fill up my drink with, with some Captain and Coke. No try because they're free. I'm a pimp, motherfucker. I'll pimp your bitch. Right. Right. You know, motherfucker. Yo, remember who you're fucking with. Hey, Bobby, what's your equipment action right now? Um, Pro Tools. Uh, I got a virus rack, a vintage pro rack, a Triton rack. Uh, MPC 2000 and a shitload of records. And you guys have this, uh, you have a home studio also? I got a, I got a CD player, a pad, and a pencil. <laughs> so many years in this game and we still strong. So many haters that we had to prove dead wrong. You talk the shit, you little bitch, you wanna bring it, bring it on. You play with me, we got three drop atomic bombs. Lou Dog, the live drummer for the Kings, has been building unique drum sets called drum trikes. These are drums that are built in the tricycles. He's been building them for years and winning awards too. His current design capitalizes in the Cottonmouth Kings' world of fun. Lou Dog, what's up? Hello. Yo, I sat with you for about an hour tonight when you're putting your drum kit together, and uh, you have some new apparatus. What'd you call it? This one's called High Off the Glass. On this drum set I'm playing right now, the Glass Project, sponsored by Chameleon Glass out in Arizona. How many ways of getting stoned are there on this? 35. Take us through the whole thing. The tom right up here, that one's got a twin typhoon chamber. So when the smoke goes through the bubbles, it just like that. The master hook is in the front kick drum. It's got a hose coming this way, has a hose coming that way. It's got a coil condenser inside the 14-inch uh, tom. Smoke goes through it, and then it goes like this. How, how does it go again? How about the detailing that's on this, like the pegs on the wheels and things like that? Oh, it's just master work, man. Just dichro, you know, just dichros, you know? What can you say? Dichro's a beautiful thing, man. I'd take, di take a dichro necklace over a diamond necklace anytime. If I had to wear a necklace. Westside Connection. All the weed smokers, put your hands in the rock to shoot with us. You know something like California. 
on your feet and home of the highest Between the healing cop, now be smoking nothing but the finest The weed and cannibals is an unstoppable team We down with Cypress, like our essays be down with dirt teams Tune in to CottonmouthKings.com and check out the website We got a lot of cool shit and stay in tune with Sub Noise and the King Cottonmouth Kings is touring coming up on November 15th through December 8th into other cities so check commonkeys.com check the tour site check it all out and, yeah know. also not MTV has all of the tour dates we're also going in tonight to, with a few cameras to record the set thanks, dude buddy. thanks a lot for coming out man oh yeah yeah big Pac for president we nominate Pac Lee for president we need your votes people the the green the real green party is stepping up we're the Cottonmouth Kings and we don't give a fuck everybody move Everybody move, 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 move. All right, let's get this fucking place moving, LA. This is a rip hop shit. Southern California hardcore. No escape. West side wall rock. right there folks so many years in this game and we still strong so many haters that we had to prove they're wrong you talking shit you little 